Hey, what's going on guys? Rakeem Madison here and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do keyword research for YouTube. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to become the best version of yourself and also add an additional income stream to your annual income, be sure to subscribe to my channel right now before we actually get started. All right, so with that, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And I'm going to make this screen a little bit bigger so you guys can see exactly how this is done. All right, real quick. All right, guys, so um, we have it bigger, so now you can see exactly what it says. So as you can see, it says how to do keyword research for YouTube, free traffic strategy. All right, so the next slide is basically going to break down how exactly I do this. All right, so the first stage is the keyword crash course, as you can see. That happens before you even create a video, right? You want to get research on exactly how much demand a specific keyword is going to get, right? And a keyword, if you're not aware of exactly what that is, that's specifically a phrase. So like when you're searching how to lose weight, how to lose belly fat, right? That's a specific phrase that, you're, that people are actually searching for, and that's what you're using to try to actually find the demand for it. All right, so that's the keyword crash course. Boom, now you go to the video creation. Now you have your research, so you're like, okay, I know what I want to talk about, so now it's time to create the video, video creation phase. All right, so now you got your video, you got your research, now you're going to upload that video. And at the same time, you're going to optimize that video. So why are you optimizing it? Because you want to get the most views and obviously, if you get a lot of views, you're going to get engagement, right? So that's the process that I use to rank my videos. Now, I go a lot more in detail in an actual video where I show you step by step how to do it and also provide a free cheat sheet. And if you stick around to the end, I'll provide you that free cheat sheet for no cost, right? Free. So the next slide talks about the actual qualification process, right? So this is the actual process that I use when I'm actually doing keyword research. I actually take it through a, like a qualification process. So I'll break it down to you. So these numbers will actually make sense to you in just a moment. All right. So I'm going to go and I'm going to open up YouTube. All right. All right. So, I'm just going to start typing in a random phrase. So, how to make a, I don't know, how to tie a tie, I guess. Yeah, there we go. How to, how to bow tie. We're just going to go with that one right now. That's pretty random. All right. So, as you can see right now, this has 7 million results, right? So, let's go back to my slide here. It says make sure now this this kind of correlates with the two bottom ones so must have at least 6,000 or less exact matches on YouTube so what does that mean you have your phrase here and you're gonna put your phrase in quotes right you see I put quotes around it so that gives me the exact amount of results so you see that goes from 7 million to 29 results right now let's go back to our, our slide that says 6,000 or less exact matches. So do you believe that this could be a qualification? In this particular case, yes, it can. All right, so let's take that same keyword phrase with the same quotes, and we're going to go to Google. And we're going we're gonna to paste this same exact thing in Google. Boom. It has 600,000 results, and that's exact. So that means your, your odds for ranking on Google are probably not that high. Let's just be honest, right? All right, so let's go back to YouTube. So, so far we got 29 results, and then we also have, uh, and then we got 600,000. Now let's go back to our slide. You must have at least 100,000 or less. So automatically, this keyword is done. It's done, right? You might have a chance to rank it on YouTube, but honestly, I wouldn't even waste my time on this keyword. Now, this is a fast way you can do it. Now, if you want to, you know, go a little bit more in depth, because I actually do this myself, is you just type in AdWords on Google. 
now you go ahead and click on this now if you already have a gmail account then this process should be very easy so when you hit sign in it's going to prompt you with whichever gmail that you're actually using right now once you log in give me just a minute guys all right i think this one is it just a second guys <clears throat> i think this is the correct one or is it Alright, I think I think we may have a winner, guys. I think this is the right account. We got a few of them. Alright. So, yes, this is the right account. So the first thing you're gonna do, it's not gonna look exactly like this, like if you're just getting an AdWords account, it's gonna ask you to create an ad, and all you would have to do is just pause it, and then you'll be able to see this screen right here. Now you wanna go to tools. Uh, I think okay, there we go. Alright, so right here where it says keyword planner, you wanna click we wanna click on that. Dun, 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 dun. A little bit of time, guys. It takes a little time to circle around a little bit. Uh, taking a little longer than I expected, but all right, guys. Perfect. All right, so right here is where you would type in your keyword. You don't want to worry about this or this unless you just really, you know, you got a lot of time on your hands. You just go, you go right here, and you type in your keyword. So I'm just going to type in how to create an app, random, right? Just a random keyword. And what I would usually do is I would go to show broadly um, um, keyword options and then only show ideas closely related to my search terms. That way I'm not seeing random stuff that doesn't have to do anything with what I'm searching for or trying to rank for. And then you hit save. Right, and then you hit get ideas. All right, so as it's, it's, it's basically calculating. All right, so the demand for this app, I mean, for that particular uh, phrase is 10K to 100K. So that means it gets between 10,000 and 100,000 searches per month, right? And uh, one thing you, you don't really want to pay too much attention to is the competition because right this right here is for paid advertising paid advertising through google so that's the competition base but one thing i did think about is uh if you're if something is medium for paid then there's a possibility that it may be medium as well but we, we really never know right so as you can scroll down here these are going to be relevant keywords so this is your actual keyword and then this right here is like different ones, how to create an app for Android, how to create an Android app, how to create an app for iPhone, right? It's going to continuously give you keywords with that particular keyword in it with an extension on the end, right? So this way, usually like if it's longer, longer tail keywords, you can rank for those a whole lot easier. But if it's like, I don't know, um, making excuses, right? It's just two words. It's usually a lot more competitive. So that's pretty much, for the most part, that's how you use Google AdWords. You're mostly doing, like, looking to see what the demand is for the keyword so you can know how much traffic you're going to be getting, right? Because if something is getting 10,000 to 100,000 searches per month, you're going to be getting a lot of traffic depending on, you know, what it is that you're actually trying to rank for. So that's Google Keyword Planner. Now we're going to go back to the slide. Now, this is basically what I was trying to show you guys a little bit earlier, is um, you can do it a, the fast way. You can just type it in, and you know how when you start typing things in, you start seeing how to draw. Now, if you typed out how to draw, then you will see how to draw this, how to draw that, how to draw this, right? You'll see different variations of that keyword, and you can use those to actually try to rank for. So that's keyword research method one. And then I just showed you the keyword planner as well and the last one that i noticed is this is when i was typing on google you know just randomly and i noticed like at the bottom of the page there's keywords and some of these i actually didn't see in a google adwords key, uh, uh, keyword planner and i was like oh well i can use these and then use these to put those into the google keyword planner to see what the demand is and that's something that i use as well all right, so this is basically what I showed you guys earlier with Google uh, Keyword Planner, basically showing you guys exactly how to use it. So 
And then this is actually the demand. This is how it used to look. Now you see it says 10K to 100K instead of just showing you the exact average monthly searches. And as you can see, that's a high competition base you know, if you're trying to use paid advertising or something. All right, so um, that concludes my training on how to do keyword research for YouTube. And I hope that you got value. And if you did, be sure to like this video. Drop a comment down below letting me know if you got value or if you learned anything. And share this video with someone who needs, you know, help doing keyword research, trying to rank their videos, right? Maybe somebody else needs this. Uh, but with that, you know, like I said, that concludes my video. And if, like I said, if you got value, my friend, because that's all I'm, I'm here to do. I'm all, that's all I'm here to do is to give you value. So with that, I'm signing out and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, my friend. Peace.